Okay, this will be my first training session teaching the basic concepts of our system here at H2H. We'll start off with a walkthrough. Here's a reservoir. The reservoir goes across the back to a bubbler so that the actual electrolyte doesn't end up inside the engine. So can, you can see there's a little level there. So when you're driving along and it's rocking and bouncing, the bubbler collects anything that got shot into this one hose here from the bouncing of a full reservoir. And the bubbles just allow the hydrogen to flow through to the next stage, which is called a dryer. And that's just to take the basic moisture out of it. Again, we just want pure hydrogen, nothing else. And then it comes along, goes through a spark arrestor. That's a safety version. And it comes along here, center of my screen, winds over and comes into the intake with the little screw valve that we drilled into it. Now you got electrics here too. So we can start over here at the generator. So we've got battery power and the battery power goes through a switch that is resettable. That way you don't have to keep ever buying fuses if you put too much amperage through. Now the electrics goes over here to a relay which is a 120 amp relay and that is triggered by this little red wire that comes from the fuse box over here and that's on the uh, gas solenoid valve that's your fuel pump so when the fuel pump is running then the engine is running if the engine stops running the fuel pump stops running and therefore it stops making hydrogen well unintended. Now once we've got the full power it's going to come from the inside through a controller. Now I've used a small controller here with a little readout. I just left it out here so you can see it. And that sets our amperage and our voltage. So it's going to go through this which also has an on-off switch. Back out here back around to our generator so when that's on it's sending positive voltage to the generator which is loose <laughs> and then the negative voltage to this side here and they come from that controller so once the engine's running then the power comes to the generator this is a big generator for a truck as you can see it's pretty massive and that bubbles up through 25 plates and again comes out through the top here and over back to the reservoir so that may give you a bit of an overview of it um, I haven't talked too much about little things that are in there like check valves and that sort of thing but there is check valves here that can go backwards so a lot of safety features built into the system uh, and it's fairly comprehensive time-wise to install all this because you have to think it through you have to mount things like we put a mounting bar here it was a custom mounting bar wall to wall and then we screwed that to the firewall firewall and custom bracket to the firewall and then the relay to the firewall so that gives you a bit of an overview if you have any questions you're welcome to call me Rob thanks bye